Hello, you PowerPoint lovers. My name is David Benign from Excel Consulting, and I love PowerPoint's AI design ideas tool, and it just keeps getting better. This is now my fourth video on it, and I can't wait to show you the cool stuff that just recently got released on this tool. I have a channel full of how-to videos on PowerPoint, Excel, Power BI, Please subscribe to my channel to get more great content like this. So let's see what design ideas can do. So in other videos, I've covered how it turns bullet points into icons, how it can give you really cool designs for full screen images, and then how it works with multiple images. In this one, we're going to look at how to go from text to HD images. And I'm going to show you an example here. So if you go to the home tab, you have design ideas. It may be on the design tab in certain versions. Now, I've already covered how to turn these bullets into these diagrams. But what we can now do is give you these HD images that are fully licensed for commercial use. And you can work with those quite nicely as well. So let's see another one. Here I have Cambodia. You can see one of these is showing you sort of an Asian style theme. And here's what's cool as well. If you like the picture but you don't like this kind of rounded thing with a big space for text there you can just kind of wiggle this around and then it re-looks up that same image in a different format so you're telling powerpoint i like the image that you chose i just don't like the layout so i'm going to choose another layout which is really really lovely i really like that so how, let's do it from scratch to show you just how easy it is i'm going to insert a new slide and in that slide, I'm just going to say financial results for 2019. Pretty boring title, but let's see what it can give. There you go. Here are some nice things that could be related to financial stuff. Again, you like this image, but you don't like the layout. Wiggle it around and then you'll see what it can give. Perfect. I like that one better now. So ancient mythology, here's something a lot more colorful and quite nice. I'm going to undo that. Let's see what happens if you have some text that's not just in the title. So let's say something completely different, like uh, outer space exploration. Let's see what that gives. There you go. Okay, now it actually seems to have preferred the outer space stuff. Uh, let's give it something else completely different. So, um, baby elephants in the wild. Okay, <laughs> there you go. I'm just kind of looking at this for the first time. So it sort of seems in this case to be looking at the last bullet. But oh, there's another one for outer space. You can just keep going and playing around with it and see what it gives to give you more uh, useful results. Remember the wiggling around thing. I really love that. Next thing you can do is if you go to a new presentation, so I'm going to go control N for new presentation, it can give you more than just the actual slide, but an entire theme with layouts and everything else. So let's talk about marine biology, explored, and then design ideas over here. Look at that. So it comes up with these images that we're familiar with already from earlier in this video. Let's say we like this one. So now I'm going to just insert a new slide. And it's actually created all of these layouts, which we can reuse. So it's not just created the cover slide. It's actually also created these accompanying layouts and a font, so it's chosen this font based on it. We can edit these as we normally can in the slide master, but it's given us this whole context of how it thinks we should present it, which is actually pretty awesome. So I love design ideas. I love how they keep going further and further along with it. They're even doing shapes a lot better now, and I'm sure that will come to pass in future as well in a really awesome way. If you like this video, check out a lot of my others. Please subscribe to my channel. And as I said, I have more on design ideas, so check those out as well. Thanks for watching.